What's going on everybody? Gunner here. Um, just got back from the Great Waters Fly Fishing Expo and had a, a great time and yeah it was it's always fun to meet new people and, and to see familiar faces from last year so just want to say thanks for everyone who, who came out and said hi and stopped by um, and on the way home I had an idea and it uh, you know a lot of times when you're pulling I like I always like to pull stuff through my popper heads uh, simply because I think you know you're creating this massive uh, kind of water throw and, and push and disturbance and um, when a fish looks up at that silhouette having either legs on a frog or, or peck fins on a wounded fish or something like that um, I don't know I like the way it looks right um, and so I had an idea I like rubber legs but rubber legs are kind of stranded sometimes right you only have you know two or four or whatever um, and, and a lot of times I'll do flashaboo through through the popper head especially on pipe poppers but what ends up happening is because it's all pulled through the same location and they're all, you know, perfect, you know, they're straight fibers, they all tend to, to bunch up in the water. And so I had the idea of pulling, let's see if you can, of pulling a uh, flashaboo minnow body through the pomper head to create these super opal uh, peck fins that would look transparent through the water right reflect a ton of light and because it's it's woven together and they they kind of hold that permanent shape when you strand them out and they they flare right uh you you always have that kind of dimensionality it's not stuck together so i did a really quick tutorial of just threading the minnow body tubing through the head um so so watch it check it out and this is you know just a full bucktail uh popper body with minnow body flaring the full bucktail in a kind of black and opal color combo so I thought it was a slick idea. Check it out. Give it a try for you know spring topwater pike and smallmouth. And uh, yeah, cheers. What's going on, everybody? Gunner here. I got in the vise a full bucktail popper. Right, we got the flashaboo minnow body coming off the tail, flaring our, our full bucktail. Got some polar flash and then some reverse craft fur pushed up with a large flyman. Uh, double barrel popper head and I had an idea for doing uh, kind of the legs right so in my tutorial that I, I posted maybe a week or two ago um, the legs we used perfect rubber a Hedron a Hedron product perfect rubber um, and I love using kind of you know your your typical rubber legs and I love using oftentimes I'll pull flash booth through um, but the flash booth tends to stick together especially if you pull it all through the same hole and, uh, and the rubber legs are kind of stranded and sometimes I want almost a beefier thing kind of looking more like pectoral fins and, and trying to imitate uh, more of a bait fish than something like a tadpole or a frog, right? And these are pretty big, you know, seven inch poppers and I'm definitely going for the, the opaly, you know, kind of pearl tail bait fish representation. Maybe not so much with, with the black head, but I thought it would look good. So what I want to do so I'm going to pull the flashaboo minnow body, and this is number 8805. I believe it's it's like the, the opal. It's the, the small size. And we're just going to measure that through the head. And what it's going to allow it, it's going to flare on either end, right? Kind of like how it flares that full bucktail, and it's going to hold that shape, and it's going to, it's going to be really cool. So you can see I just pulled the rope out of the core, and now I just have empty tubing. I'm gonna heat my Zud Bubbler leg puller, right? A nice thick diameter uh, kind of needle threader. It's got the little hole. Uh, yeah, it's probably the wrong color sweatshirt to wear for this. But you can see the little hole uh, kind of contrasting against my, my Sims sweatshirt there. So when you heat this up, you can you can get a you can heat it up without that black residue. If you hold it a little ways above the flame, if you hold it in the flame, you'll get that black residue that I kind of had on the, on the first video. And I want to heat it up a lot. Uh, when you heat it up, it's, it's going to kind of like melt away some of that foam and it's going to give you a nice large uh, diameter hole to pull this tubing through. Whereas if you, if you just heat it up a little bit, make sure that's nice and, and thick in there. If you heat it up just a little bit, it'll start, it'll melt it initially and then it'll get tighter as you get towards one of the, one of, you know, as you get towards the side and then yeah it just it makes for a smaller hole if you heat it less I'm actually gonna hit this with water try to cool that down just so we can pull this through now it's gonna be hard to fit this through here right so I'm gonna use 
a, a bobbin threader. I'm not sure if this is going to be the world's greatest idea, but we're going to go for it. So I'm going to pull my <laughs> my bobbin threader through my leg threader, and then I'm going to thread my minnow body. See if we can't get that to go through there. Sweet. And then we're going to pull this. Try to trap as little fibers as possible. Oh yeah. Okay, now that's it's got quite a bit of tension, so that's not gonna it's not really gonna pull out of there. But I am gonna hit the side with just a little drop of glue and then pull it through the head. So I just know it, it'll never it'll never move on me. And then you just rub that with your fingers and flare all this. Or you can come in with a, a bodkin, right, and, and kind of just pick it out. And now we have these awesome uh, super opal peck fins <laughs> hanging out on either side of the head. Um, and yeah, it was a little tricky to get through, but these fibers being kind of kind of permanently curled from from being uh, woven together, uh, it's it's not going to all cling together like it would if you were to just use a straight holographic flashaboo. Um, so this is going to be super webby kind of way bulkier and you can obviously I mean you can do any length you want you have probably two and a half feet of, of cord in a pack um, to get some really cool kind of peck fins on a popper so actually that'd be cool for a dragonfly popper stuff looks like like uh, like wings but cool thanks for watching hopefully you found that cool it's a nice short little video uh, and, and it, it is kind of tricky maybe have to come up with a better system than a threader but yeah I thought I'd share that just because I had the idea and thought it'd make for a really sick nasty pipe popper so thanks for watching and uh, have a good one